And this is a super exciting spread we have here. Before we introduce our guest, Sarah, we have to find out if you're qualified to do this interview. <laughs> what is the name of this animal? Oh, that's the one they slice open and then it gets inside. Yes, at least and, you get and that. And he says, ooh, it uh, doesn't smell good. Yep. Uh, it's uh, a tauntaun! Oh, totally fed the answer. It's a tauntaun. On what planet? Tantooine! Wrong. Hoth. But okay. <laughs> Cindy Harper, how are you? Thank you. Good morning. You were the ultimate collector. The super fan would have got that. <laughs> yeah. You wanted yeah. to tell me the answer, didn't you? I, I, I didn't want to get yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just messing around. Uh, okay, so let, should we get to the pièce de résistance right away? Yes. The, the best thing on this table? Yes. How long have you been collecting for, by the way? Uh, about 10 years. Okay. Can you talk to me about this toaster that uh, everybody loves? This is a very hard to find item. You usually can't find it on eBay. It's sold out. Um, mm -hmm. I lucked out. I got it at StarWars.com. And it's a Star Wars toaster, but when you toast it, Check this out. It burns ah! Darth Vader's face into it. Oh, yes, okay. that is so cool. These are the little things you find from a true mm -hmm. fan and collector, right? <laughs> and so, Cindy, there's a button over here, and yeah, yeah. I really, really want to push it. May I? You may. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at that. It's a very secretive Sith book, so the Order of the Sith, you know, it's got all their secrets in there. And is that right? Look at the book coming out. I'm so out. into that right now. Yeah, the only thing is missing is the smoke, the dry okay. ice. But you know, you can put dry ice in. And make no, it but it, it would be, it would be. That a would be day. the that icing so on the cake. Cool. So, Cindy, when you found out that as my Star Wars identity character, I had chosen an Ewok, you had a certain piece of memorabilia that you figured I should. Uh, I do because they're, they're very, uh, their their voices are very hard to do. But if you just. Okay, so we heard my voice earlier. Before you do it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't, oh, I didn't. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so my Ewok impression was, like yeah, that. That was that's it. for Jawa, but that's not oh, a bad Jawa okay. though. That's a pretty good Jawa, you're right. <laughs> so we gotta put it right next to your microphone. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Oh. Yeah. That's it. Better? It better. Okay, I'm working on it. <laughs> now, uh, yeah, it's the last time that we spoke to Cindy, I made her do this awful Ewok, or this awful Wookiee impression. Yes, I, and you... <laughs> she still holds it against me. I promised you I wouldn't make you do it this time. No, but I think you're going to do it now, no. aren't you? You do an excellent female Wookiee. This I think so, too. This is the first time that I've ever actually come close to doing it right, and Zach, our cameraman, showed me. Okay, here. <laughs> oh my lord. This is the largest yeah, Pez dispenser here? ever, and I like it because it dispenses packs of Pez. Oh. That's the way to do it. Forget Check out Darth Vader. Pez, right? Now, you said that the uh, most valuable mm -hmm. uh, item on the table is this R2 D2? Yeah, they're. they're the R2 and then the, the Luke on the Tauntaun. But so what's what's what does the R2 do? He is voice activated uh -huh. and he can he can talk to you or he can go on patrol. So if nice. you just uh, Oh! Hey, R2. Do you remember Darth Vader? Ah, I love that. We'll leave it at that. There's so much more. We have no time to explore all this. This it, makes banana ice can splits. Savers? Banana ice savers. Ice savers. Mm -hmm. There's a cookbook in there. Mm -hmm. That's hilarious. Lots of cool things that you can all find. All right. Uh, so we're exploring like crazy here at the uh, Star Wars Identity exhibit at the Canada Aviation and Space Museum. We're